Hey, what's up? Liron here. Thank you for joining me in today's video. Today is going to be more of a conversation. I want to share a few important updates with you, a few important life changes that will have ultimately influence on this channel, which is why I'm making this video. So sit back, relax, enjoy. It's just you and me and we're just going to talk, okay? Um, so I did have a different video planned out, honestly, a painting process, but this feels so long overdue and it's things that have been cooking in my mind for a while now that I think it's time to put it out there. Uh, so we'll get started. The, the big thing is I have a few uh, personal changes that I plan on doing and improving my, the quality of my life, which translates to changes at work. So a bit of uh, the content I produce, how I communicate and all of that, uh, some changes, which is why I wanted to update you once again. So we'll get started with life changes. I am planning to improve a lot of aspects when it comes to health, nutrition, um, and I wrote it down here in fitness. Now, the, th the lens through which I'm looking at it is just improving performance on a day-to-day -day basis, not even necessarily sports. So what do I mean by that? The last two years or so, I'm looking at Ruth, she's so adorable, the last two years or so, uh, have been a, a kind of COVID haze because of uh, ordering more food, ordering out or, you know, with deliveries and less cooking, less healthy stuff, spending a lot of money on these kinds of things, um, which is something that's been bothering me for a while now. And I want to make this kind of a um, direction, course correction, if you will, and start consuming healthier. So that means um, better food better quality, more of the things that are a little out there, right? I'm doing heavy research on nutrition. It's probably gonna be some kind of a vegetarian keto uh, diet because I just wanna improve my performance to be less tired in the, in the mornings, right? To be clear in my thinking, which is some things I feel like I was kind of on and off. And I, I bet a lot of people have been feeling this. Let me know in the comment down below, if, actually, if you have been, because I'm curious to hear if this is my experience alone. So that's one kind of key thing. Uh, now, second, and this is a huge, and that is the mental side of things. This is something I don't necessarily talk a lot about, but to the extent of being transparent with you and possibly helping someone out there, I do want to share that. So just long term things from my past, different anxieties and different traumas and things that probably everyone goes through, right? Um, that are still with me to this day. And I've gone through a major period of handling and, and improving myself and taking care of all of these things uh, and doing a lot of coaching uh, and doing a lot of kind of mentoring with other people. Uh, and that definitely brought me forward and, and helped me improve these aspects. Um, I'm gonna give you just one specific example, right? So when I'm in a situation where I feel like I don't have control or I'm, I'm, I feel helpless in a way, um, my, my body immediately communicates with my stomach. It's immediate stomach ache. And, and it's something that's been bugging me my entire life and I really dislike that connection. And I do know I have enough experience in from, from being coached and from seeing other people and from watching content it can be solved. And it's one thing that's been bugging me for the longest time. And it's this anxiety maybe towards the future, towards dumb logistical things. Immediately, stomach ache. This connection has to go. I, I want to work on that. I really want to improve the quality of my life. Stress being one of the things that really are a big problem, a big detrimental effect on people's health. And I would like to reduce that, a lot of it. Now, the next thing I would say is thriving. So not just, you know, I do my daily awareness routine, I meditate, blah, blah, blah. But I feel like I've gone into this pattern or maybe habit of doing things the same way. And sometimes you just need to get a smack, like to, to move a bit to the side and, and see the whole other world of opportunities in front of you that you're you're missing. And we have a tendency, I, I definitely have a tendency, I don't know, maybe you don't, but a lot of people do, of um, going on autopilot, even in the things that should not be autopilot, for example, meditation, listening to yourself, making plans, there's this tendency to go on autopilot, delegate a lot of the free form thinking and creative thinking and outside the box thinking, delegate that to the auto automatic brain. I like to break that pattern. And that means a lot of things, actually. That means uh, finding ways to expanding my comfort zone in a true way. And it's something that I've gone through a time in my life where I worked on that a lot. Uh, and I suddenly I, I caught myself thinking, like, what's the last thing I did that really scared me? And I overcame that fear. And I feel like I've gone in a new level, right? Um, and it just doesn't happen that much. 
Um, and I can, I have reference experience from the past to compare where it did happen. And that's an aspect that's really missing. And that will tie into my next point. And that's just spiritual growth. I don't know exactly how to describe it other than that, uh, which means better habits when it comes to meditation, doing something new, for example, maybe it's yoga, maybe it's, um, other exercise, breathing exercise, whatever it is to bring in something new that will, um, I guess, I don't even know exactly what it will do, but break my own pattern and, and help me grow. Right. Uh, and that's something that's been really sitting on me for a while now. Um, and a part of that is going to be optimizing nutrition. So it doesn't just mean eating healthier. It means seeking out the superfoods, the things that will help me perform better in life, being more awake, being more uh, aware, being more um, energetic and all of those good stuff. Now you see me in my best for you. you have to understand this. And this is, goes for anyone who compares themselves to people you watch online. You see me in my best performance always. Why? Because I can record this video multiple times. Uh, I get a lot of energy from making art and from talking to you, uh, which is why you always get a very narrow view of me. That does not mean that I don't wake up very tired in the morning. Or some mornings I don't feel like creating at all, or some paintings really frustrate me, or that I have this thing where I'm anxious about something in the future, or even some social anxiety that goes into that, or feeling like an outsider, or feeling like, like I'm in a, in a situation that's helpless. That doesn't mean I don't get stomach aches. I, I get all of that. That's things that are very personal to me, but also are very common. So you just see me at my best self. That's something to remember, right? For every single thing you see online that's been filtered. Uh, you have to remember that. And it's not because I'm necessarily trying to be hypocritical or anything like that or hide these sides. You see, I'm talking to you about them. It's more because I want to provide you with the best content. <laughs> I, I want to provide you with art and painting lessons, right? Um, I want to make sure that my educational and entertainment uh, content or value are at their maximum, right? So that's, uh, that's why you get a very narrow lens. It's important to understand that, okay? So all of these life changes, and there are some financial stuff, and there's a lot of things that go into that, will require a lot of my attention and a bit more time. So I'll actually have to shift my macro time management, meaning a little less time for work. So right now I'm at a point where I work about, I think on average, about 10 to 12 hours a day. That's kind of where I'm averaging in, where when I'm at my best, right? I have weeks where I do that and then it's maybe eight or something. I have to reduce it to around eight to 10. So that's gonna be, so usually like I'll start maybe, I'll work 10 to eight or something, some kind of a weird combination like that. So this time I, I have to, for a certain period of time, play around with that. Otherwise I don't have the time to give more freedom to my mental health and mental thriving and spiritual growth. And also when you look at stuff like nutrition and exercise, when you start optimizing these things, you, you actually have to cook for yourself. You have to go out and buy the proper ingredients. It takes a lot of time and mental energy, which just inevitably means I'll have less time for work. Now that in and of itself doesn't necessarily influence what you get, right? But it will influence one thing. And that is again, less time for work means I have to be more ruthless with my work time. So the immediate biggest kind of change that you can talk about is, and this has been so such a long time coming, I'm gonna reduce the weekly videos from three to two, which means one video and one live stream. Okay, the live streams stay, maybe I'll change the day, I'm not sure yet, remember, I'm taking this slowly, this kind of a change, you know, people, when they, you try to change everything, you change nothing and you just get right out, right off of the wagon and you just fail. So I don't want that, I want something that is long term and that actually works. So, but this is going to be the biggest, I guess, change. And why do I say it's been a long time coming? Forever, I've been saying, I want to devote more time to art, more time to improve the quality of art, more time to improve my skills, more time to, and I always talk and talk and talk and talk, and I never actually do. I've been maintaining that three videos a week benchmark for years now. I just want to give myself permission to do less. And that's the thing I have not given myself yet. And now I'm giving myself that permission by putting it out or it's going to be two videos a week. Now, why did I not give myself permission? I don't know, an arbitrary standard fear that the channel will tank in views, fear that people will forget about me, all of these things, fear that the business is going to get hurt, but I have to, I owe it to myself to reduce the number of videos. Now, one more thing I want to do is better quality. So hopefully, 
maybe you'll feel this. I don't know yet because right now I'm, I'm at a point where I'm reducing that time to devote it to something else, not necessarily work. Um, so I don't know exactly if you'll feel that, but one thing you probably will feel is I have more time to paint for myself and you will see an improvement in art. Maybe, maybe not. I, that's the most important part is I want to feel that, right? To feel that growth. I have a few sticking points that really annoy me in a watercolor and I want to get over them. And I think the best way to do that is to take that extra time. Um, so that's another thing I wanted to talk about. Two videos a week, again, um, more ruthless with my time. Yes, I will devote more time to, to the system. Things that make me money in the future because remember I'm a business I have to be able to continue doing what I'm doing and one of my fears when it comes to the future and it's not the type of fear that gives me a stomach ache that's actually a very well maintained fear is the fear of not being able to continue doing what I'm doing that's the biggest thing that, that drove me for a long time and I do want to, that to change I want to be driven by creativity by desire to share and and to create awesome art right but that's life you know sometimes you're driven by fears as well and that's okay so that's always at the back of my mind because if I had a job and I get fired I can always find a new job especially if I have good valuable experience in the field doesn't mean it takes a moment to find a job it could take a while but this is my livelihood and my business so it's it's something that I have to maintain and make sure that in a year in five years in 10 years in 20 years I can still make a living from it that's the most important part unfortunately that's the reality of life right you need money um, so I would like the business to continue thriving and to do that I actually have to shift some focus to the business side of things to doing better and more marketing to building a system that brings in more income and that that could happen as a in form of a new course right a new product the new watercolor realism course for example so far in the last couple of weeks uh, a month sorry has made quite a big difference I am seeing my income steadily increasing but you have to understand some income income streams increase while others decrease so you always have to be aware of that as a business owner and honestly I don't have anything to complain about I'm doing the thing I love for a living that's incredible right so that little fear of me hoping I can continue doing it that's just uh, what do you call it that, that's part and parcel of it that's part of the game of building a business right um, so I'm gonna spend a little more time on that as well so just to kind of conclude because we're gonna move into the final moments of this video I'm just saying this there are a few important life changes that I've been feeling like I have to do for my own mental health and growth sake which will inevitably translate to better art better teachings right better me being happier me being more uh, more charismatic on camera you enjoying better content better videos better paintings whatever right and the sustainability my ability to do this in the long run for decades to come right because I don't know I don't know if I'll ever retire right probably will at some point but who knows right uh, if I enjoy it I'll continue working I love working I love doing this work right so a few life changes to make everything more sustainable will translate to a few changes in the work balance which translates to the most immediate effect is two videos a week and that extra time will be either devoted to those changes uh, in the areas of health and wealth and mental well-being or to better quality content more marketing more promotion more things that don't even affect you really it's not like I'll post videos that just market products it's gonna be still educational content but I'll have more time to uh, do proper like marketing with paid ads and with uh, SEO and websites and blah, blah, blah all of those other things right to conclude I will say this I am taking it slow so I don't know how immediate all of this will be felt by you I am taking it slow because I know that when you set you know New Year's resolutions or a bunch of goals in a bunch of different areas we as humans just end up not doing them the human brain unfortunately or fortunately is focused only on uh, survival and not necessarily on thriving and you have to cajole it or to to really kind of trick it into growth right that's it's so funny even with muscles and you know the body does everything to just maintain the current situation just maintain resources not necessarily thrive you have to really work it to grow muscles for example right um, so I'm gonna take it slow but I will make these changes 
I felt like putting it out there it was very important. Uh, otherwise, I just wouldn't do it, right? I could be in the hush hush and just try and devote more time to the other things, but end up not doing that. Uh, I feel like, you know, videos take a long time to make, and that's why that's the most uh, immediate change. Even just removing one video a week will probably free out like four hours easy a week. So, you know, and maybe I can decide to batch more, to film more batches and then post for the future and then have a month without having to worry about videos, right? So it just, it's just this one very time consuming task. Uh, hopefully that will translate to, to, to more communication, right? So fewer videos, more time answering your comments because that's fast, I can do that much faster. I do want to preserve the live streams though. The live streams are, in my opinion, the, the, um, the oxygen for me because that's the best way for me to interact with you and that's the best way for you to get your questions answered and it's the most immediate type of conversation i have to maintain this because it's something i love it really puts me in the zone um whether it's painting and kind of interacting with you or just talking you know so that's something that that has to stay that has to stay i love that and i can't believe i i just started i think last year to do live streams before i didn't do any of them um so this is it this is for the next couple of months these are some changes i'm implementing i just want a bit more buffer between my tasks and not be so like a mindless mouse, you know, running away from one task to another, having to prioritize whether I, I work on the video now or actually paint because I need it for my soul. Just a bit more buffer in between tasks so that I have some more breathing room. Um, so yeah, that's it. I'm looking forward to producing more awesome content for you, better content for you as I am just on a better level of performance because I'm eating better, I'm sleeping better, I'm taking care of a lot of mental health stuff that everyone has, right? It's not nothing too special, I think. It's easy for us to feel like we're special and the one thing we have no one else has. And I actually feel like I have the right to, to say that about some of the things. Nothing too terrible, mind you, but yeah. Um, but still, uh, it's something I do want to take care of and I think it will translate to a better future for me and you. So I will wrap this up by thanking you from the bottom of my heart. You are the reason I'm able to do what I do. I never, almost ever, like I don't, I don't think I ever had like a sponsorship or anything like that. I am a very much a B2C kind of person. I'm a business to customer, uh, less of a business to business, which I will work on improving that aspect too. But I love the direct interaction. I get so much more satisfaction to sell you a course rather than to put an ad in a video, right? That's, and I, I do, I actually have one ad maybe planned, maybe a sponsorship, so it's funny, but it's a good one. Um, so I, I, it's what I love, you know, it's just what I love doing. I love that direct communication with you. I love selling a painting is much more valuable to me than running, let's say running a Facebook ad and just having sales, right, which is important. Uh, which is a big part of, of making money as a business. But the thing that really I'm passionate about is that directness, me and you, um, which is why I'm just, you're the only person I can, I can uh, you know, I can thank. So thank you so much, whether you're watching the videos, commenting, liking, if you're subscribed, if you've been a long time subscriber, let me know in a comment down below. You know, actually, let me know in a comment down below. If you made this far to the end of the video, let me know. Uh, how long you've been subscribed or what year you subscribe, if you remember, you know, if you can even know that kind of a thing. I'm just curious to hear. If you're new, let me know. Just really curious to hear that kind of a thing. Um, and yeah, thank you so much. <laughs> just whatever, yeah, but for the people who buy the courses or support, support me on Patreon or buy the paintings, like huge, huge thank you. You enable me to do what I do. And I feel like it's my responsibility to make it as sustainable as I can. So with that, we'll wrap it up. Thank you so, so much. And we'll see you in the next video. I will update you about the schedule. I don't know if it's going to be Tuesday and Thursday, if it's going to be Thursday and Saturday, whatever. We'll figure it out. Thank you so much. We'll talk to you again real soon.